All right, if we can welcome to the stage Aaron Vince, brother Aaron Vince from Grand Valley State, class of 2012. We can be the generation that no longer accepts that an accident of latitude determines whether a child lives or dies, but will we be that generation? Will we in the West realize our potential or will we sleep in the comfort of our own affluence with apathy and indifference murmuring softly in our ears? 15,000 people dying needlessly every single day from AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. Mothers, fathers, teachers, farmers, nurses, mechanics, children. This is Africa's crisis. That it's not on the nightly news and that we do not treat this as an emergency, that's our crisis. Hello, everyone. My name is Aaron, and I am a recent graduate from Grand Valley State University. Um, I work as a volunteer for an organization known as ONE. One is the One Campaign to End Global Poverty. And we embody a mission that our voice can change the world. That what we say and the initiatives that we feel are important to help those and pursue justice and equality in the world are what will make a difference more than anything else, more than money, more than anything you can imagine. We believe in one, that latitude should not affect your quality of life that whether you're rich or poor is not an indicator of your own influence, that your voice is more effective than your wallet, that everyone deserves a shot at a healthy life. We believe not in charity, but in justice. We do this through a matter of few ways. Start off with a few campaigns that we run. We have over two million volunteers worldwide. And my job specifically as a congressional district leader in Grand Rapids, I oversee 4,000 volunteers. These are people that have signed petitions or come to our events or just showed support for the people who need it most. And we organize our events and everything we do around campaigns. Uh, we'll run usually two to three a year, and I'm in charge of all the volunteers and how we're going to run our effort locally. Um, I like to highlight my favorite one here, because everyone knows it, President Obama's 2008 inaugural address. We ran a petition after uh, we knew that he would be the next president to say, President Obama, we want you in your inaugural address to let the world know that we as United States citizens care about the world's poorest. We got over 200,000 signatures on this petition in, a in less than one month. And in his inaugural address, this is what he said. To the people of poor nations, we pledge to work alongside you to make your farms flourish and let clean waters flow, to nourish starved bodies and feed hungry minds. And to those nations like ours that enjoy relative plenty, we say we can no longer afford indifference to the suffering outside our borders, nor can we consume the world's resources without regard to effect. For the world has changed, and we must change with it. Following that presentation and that uh, inauguration, every amount of money that was pledged by every previous administration to Africa was maintained or increased, along with other initiatives that have come with it that I'll talk about later. Another few campaigns that we've done have been PSAs. Um, these will go viral online. They'll be on, I've seen them on late night TV a few times. Um, they, they capture your attention and they make you aware of things you wouldn't previously know. Uh, I've included one here just, because, again, because it's my favorite. I think you might enjoy it, too. Famine is the real obscenity. Famine. 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 30,000 children have died in just three months. 30,000 children. In just three months. The worst drought in 60 this years. devastating parts of Africa. And 12 million men, women, and children are on the brink. In 2011. Really? Are you f kidding me? 
Now we know how to stop. We know how to stop this. We know how to stop. Stop this. Early warning systems. Food reserves. Better seeds. And irrigation. More peace and security. Drought is an act of nature. Famine, Famine is man-made. Famine. Famine is man-made. Famine is man-made. Go to one.org. Let's put a end to famine. And so that was one of the things that we used to kick off a campaign known as the Thrive Campaign. And so along with petitions and along with PSAs, we'll do campaigns that literally just bring as many people as we can together to influence something happening in current events um, that would affect people in Africa. The most recent one that we've done is known as Thrive. The next one that's coming is called The Beginning of the End of AIDS, which has not been released yet, which is why I'm not talking about it right now. So. Thrive was a campaign we launched a couple months ago surrounding the meeting of the G8. Um, we had another petition here that said, following this famine PSA that we put out, we would like uh, G8 leaders to put together some sort of commitment uh, to agriculture. We had this petition online. Uh, by the time I did this screenshot, over 300,000 people had signed it. We used postcards where people got, we handed them out at our events. People signed them, we scanned them in, sent them into the White House. Um, please use this to help those who do not have the means to help themselves. Food, people, happiness on earth. This is my favorite. Dear Mr. President, I'm a five-year-old from South Carolina. Please tell the G8 to help hungry people. Or simply, honor it, yo. The, we took these, and then we had people online. We use online me mechanics as well. Anyone that tweeted at the One campaign a message that they wanted to send to the G8, we used a street tweet machine. And what you see on the back of this truck is a, uh, it's basically a paint machine. And any tweets that got sent to the One campaign, this truck surrounded the meeting of the G8 and painted their tweets on the road. So we have stop malnutrition before it starts. This is the road to end hunger. And these are the ways that we've used our voice to impact the world leaders to let them know what we feel needs to be happening. Finally, we have different events that we'll hold, and this is where my position gets really fun. Um, I've been on a number of lobbying trips to Washington, D.C., where I get to sit in um, previous, before, uh, uh, previous to budget initiatives or when a new budget's coming out or when the one's about to pass, I will get flown to D.C. to go in and talk with Michigan's representatives and senators um, and tell them what, that we think they should sustain funding um, to help some of the world's poorest. Uh, here we are, this Michigan team in D.C. This is with us with uh, Senator Stabenow. She is the only one that's not in college. And with Senator Levin there in the center as well. The other cool thing, of course, you've noticed by now, our co-founder is none other than Bono. And last year, U2 was on tour in the United States, and I was lucky enough to be on tour with them as a representative for one. And so I got to follow them around the country, starting in Denver on May 21st, and we had a tent we set up. We had 30 iPads that we used as clipboards to go around, and we would canvas this massive stadium every other day and sign up about uh, roughly two to 3,000 supporters a day. And the, uh, the iPads would sign everyone up immediately, put them on our database, and then we could contact, uh, contact them for events later on. Um, this is us in teams all around the country. This is Chicago, uh, Denver. And most importantly, pull at the heartstrings, these were all brothers from the Grand Valley State chapter. They got to walk on stage with me and meet you two uh, last summer. So it has been an outstanding ride um, to, using, to use our voice to help change the lives of the people who need it most. And I believe this, yes, that is it. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it.